so I'm com coming up on my 28th year. South Metro firefighter Troy Jackson grew up old school. The days of wearing dirty bunker gear, um, having your helmet covered in soot. Until the day that all changed. I was diagnosed with a fairly rare form of cancer. Then last year, Jackson was the man who presented a folded flag to the family of fellow firefighter Mike Freeman at his funeral. Could have we done something to prevent Mike's death, which was a cancer-related death? And it's not just the air. All the toxins from smoke and burning plastics land on gear or skin, and that's proven to be a cancer risk. That's where this simple solution comes in. They will be thoroughly cleaned off while they're still wearing their protective equipment. Then that protective equipment will be bagged up. And at that point, firefighters are cleaning themselves off, making sure that the seats are covered before they get in the fire truck. We're trying to do everything possible to leave as many of the chemicals and carcinogens at the fire scene. And hopefully curb the cancer numbers among these ranks into the future. It's probably too late for a few of us. Anything we can do to make it easier on that next generation and reduce some of the risk to them is is huge to what we're doing. At South Metro, I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7.